What's going on, my kids? Today's Age of Paper Retail Fox Foxy coming back at you with a brand new episode of City Skylines 2: Port St. Glacy. And in today's brand new episode, we're gonna be we're gonna be building up more of this um, downtown around here, along with Lake Glacier Park, which is actually supposed to be a direct reference to Lake Eola Park. Listen, I know we were building on the Atlantic. I know we're supposed to be building on the Atlantic coast out here in Florida, but hear me out, everybody. Hear me out. I, I had to make the reference to the future hometown in some way, shape, or form. But anyways, right now we're going to be adding on a little bit to the skyline before we actually start building um, Lake Glacier Park out here. And I will say right now, this skyline is turning out absolutely beautiful. You're going to see like a very high focus on detail. I expect at least one or two crashes while I'm building this, but so far actually it seems like some updates have been pushed out to the game. Because I think um, Colossal Order have actually pushed out the one, they pushed out a recent patch out here ahead of the, um, what was it again, region packs. And I expect a couple more later this month out here too, but um... Anyways, Colossal Order pushed out a couple of these, and it seems like they've improved the stability of the game dramatically, actually. So that actually is pretty good. I'm going to have to look at the full change log of the patch here in order to actually confirm this, which I probably won't be doing, realistically speaking, on camera. But yeah, I, I will say I'm pretty happy with the stability of the game and the major improvements, actually. They're actually looking pretty good so far. Of course, watch me save that, and then we're going to lose the next episode of um, Protogen Island to a freaking crash to the desktop. Because this game takes forever to start back up, and I'm still very paranoid of what might happen out here. I've yet to fully run tests out here, too, and most of my time tonight, after the stream, at the time of recording this, because it is Halloween once again at the time I'm recording this, because I'm trying to get, like, a week ahead. Well, actually, I, I can't really say I'm trying to get a week ahead. I already am a week ahead, because, um, last episode, or the last video I posted on, um, what was it again? Mall 621 was actually the last commentary I had to record that night, so... Yeah, that actually is pretty good, obviously. Sleeping schedule is starting to come back into place, and you could thank my power company for that one here, too, because I had to get up really early in the morning, and I'm like, gotta fix this damage out here. Looks like I was right about the possibility of power surges, unfortunately, and of course, you know, I'm getting everything thrown at me. The minute things start to go well, that's pretty much just what happens at this point. My life is like one giant Greystill Plays video, if you're catching what I'm saying out here. But anyways, um, back to business out here. We got the little lake for Lake Glacier Park out here. A again, it's supposed to be a reference to Lake Eola Park. I know we're building on the um, Atlantic coast of Florida, not the um, central UCF slash Disney regions. But I, I, I gotta do it, okay? Like, I'm planning on relocating to the um, Orlando area, so... Yeah, I gotta include that reference in there somewhere. And it also kind of shows that I've been doing my homework on the move as well, too. Kind of a shame, actually. I couldn't find any, like, you know, any real opportunities to take advantage of for, that would have allowed me to do the move faster out here. But, I mean, I wouldn't trade this channel for the world if we're being honest out here. I, I'm pretty proud of what we've made so far. So, yeah, we got some benches over here in the park because obviously you got to be able to sit down. And I'm also including no lights in the park. I wanted pure nature here, too. And plus, you got street lights on the outside, too. Like, it's actually kind of crazy out here. I don't know, I feel like it could be actually a safety issue um, of not having street lights in the park out here. Maybe we could have some security officers or something like that, I don't know. I, I, I may do this off camera. I'm just really scared to use the search bar for anything other than um, plop the growables. Because as I mentioned prior, the, um, what was it again? The, the find it mod is the one that's crashing the most right now. So I need to figure out exactly what's going on with that. Make sure that there's like nothing stupid that's causing that to happen or any sort of complex out here or anything like that. But yeah, it definitely does look pretty nice out here right now. We're also adding some other like plants near the, um, I, I, I wanted to um, say something else entirely, but we're adding some plants near the pathways here as well too. Kind of like some little flowers. Everything is looking absolutely gorgeous so far. It looks stunning. Obviously, we're going to get some palm trees. And actually, I hear they're planting a lot of oak trees in Florida right now as a way to... I, I don't know how this is going to really combat climate change out here. But then again, I'm also not a scientist too, so... And obviously, Florida is like one of the risky... Probably actually the riskiest region in the entire... Probably North American continent, realistically speaking, for that sort of thing. So it makes sense for them to want to battle it. And one of the ways they're doing it is actually through planting oak trees. So expect me to plant like a lot of oak trees. Kind of like, you know reference this and again i don't know how this works but i'm also not an environmental scientist or anything like that so I i'm stumped for answers ask them because they're way more well rehearsed in it than i personally am as i have shown in the past out here too in fact i don't even think i went to college out here actually although that's because i live in the states where the price tag for um anything higher education has become akin to selling a kidney because schools can't seem to manage their money anymore 
but that's this isn't really the time or the place to have that discussion. We haven't even gotten to building the university area yet out here. But anyways, right now we're just adding those little palm trees. I just added the oak trees, obviously. Again, they're doing this all over Florida. I think they're trying to phase out as many palm trees as possible out here. They're not going to be able to get rid of all of them. I'm just going to keep it a buck right now. Not going to be able to get rid of all of them because, well, <laughs> you got to have at least some in, like, regions like that. I mean, they get a lot of hurricanes, and palm trees are also known for being, like, very resistant. In fact, they're often seen even as a symbol of strength because of this. But I would definitely restrict them to like the far south and the coastal regions if at all possible. Well, actually, they do have living palm trees year round in um, southern South Carolina. I want to know how I know this because I've been to um, southern South Carolina, southeastern, like Charleston, regions like that, you know. So I do know that they're, that palm trees can go way further north out here and generally be alive year round. But... I don't know right now. I feel like the places people visit the most should be the ones getting the most palm trees if we're kind of being honest out here. And this actually is going to be one of the places people visit the most out here. Hopefully we get that tourist pack soon because I really want that so I could build like a theme park or something like that. That would be freaking awesome. Right now though, we're stuck building beach tourist towns, which aren't the worst out here too. As someone who's been to Myrtle Beach a good number of times, which is also in South Carolina, I can pretty much attest to that. Of course, you know, I've had other factors completely ruin it for me in recent years, but, you know. I mean, what can you do at this point? But yeah, I'll talk more on that on Discord. That's gonna be restricted to the vent areas over there. I feel like that's gonna be the um, right move, realistically speaking. Right now, though, we get a few other things. We get some pathways and everything like that. Everything looks good so far. And yes, I do include some mixed-use zones. And I actually do recoloring that I said I was gonna do in the previous episode, too. I actually do that right up ahead as well, so the uh, mixed-use zones feel a little bit more natural, a little bit nicer here. And of course, we use the Move It mod to kind of snap these into place out here too, because, well, right now they're a little bit large out here. But I do think, again, it does look pretty good. We got some, what was it again, palm trees out here right nearby, and of course a small parking lot. And you can't have a um, city battling climate change without at least one electric car charger here. Yes, we are kind of like working with those as well too. I'm trying to encourage, like, you know, the Sims in Port St. Glacie, and yes, I'm calling them Sims. It's Sims with a C, by the way, typically in City Skylines, but I am trying to encourage them to switch over to electric out here, at the very least, as many of them as possible. Listen, if this city's gonna be, um, habitable in 20 years, and by, or 100 years, and by habitable, I mean located above water, if we're being honest out here, we, we gotta make things a little bit more sustainable, so you better believe I'm gonna try my best to do it. And yes, I said 100 years. Not 400, like some people will lead you to believe. It's not gonna be 400. I, I mean, the people propagating that lie can't even do math correctly, if, you're, if we're being honest out here. But then again, what do I expect other than stupidity? But anyways, right now we're starting to come up to the end of this episode out here as we place down these two office towers. If you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. You had a reminder three minutes in. You have another reminder come up to the end screen if you want to support what I do here a little bit more. You had instructions at the five minute mark. Until next time though, take care. Bye for now and have a great day or night. No matter where in the world you may be.